Hi guys! If this is your first time to the channel and you like this kind of videos about finances, credit cards and points, please like, subscribe and if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you! So, in uh, 2021, I have grandfathered uh, a few, quite a few points uh, from 2020. I was planning to do a lot of traveling in 2020 and I still did much more traveling than many people but at the same time it was nothing like uh, I thought it would be. I did travel twice uh, in Costa Rica in 2020, one at the beginning of the year, one at the end of the year and I did a couple of road trips in the East Coast. The arrival of uh, my new Amex Platinum has a big impact both in uh, the annual fees that I'm paying and the amount of points that I'm expecting. I thought it would be a good update to uh, let you know what I'm expecting to make in uh, 2021 with all the credits I'm getting and all the uh, points I'm getting through my credit cards. So in the Amex ecosystem I have the Platinum, the Gold and the uh, Blue Cash. The Blue Cash is a no annual fee card so that doesn't count. 550 is the uh, Platinum uh, 250 is the gold, so I have $800 between these two cards. On the Chase ecosystem, I have uh, four annual fee credit cards. Um, two of them are the uh, Ink Preferred, the uh, Sapphire Preferred. I have a hotel card, the World of Hyatt uh, credit card, that's another $95. And the Southwest Rapid Rewards uh, Priority, that's $149. My City Advantage American Airlines uh, typically has $95 annual fee, but this year was waived, so I will calculate that as zero. So the total for all the credit cards I have is $1,234. Now that's a lot, but hear me out. I'm expecting the uh, full sign-up bonus from the uh, Amex Platinum, that's 100,000 points. By the time I reach that point and I do all the spending in the right categories, I'm expecting at least another 30,000. So I want to be realistic. I'm not going to go all the way to 200,000 potential uh, amount. So 130,000 Amex points uh, just from the Platinum. On the Gold, I have 60,000 from the sign-up bonus. I already have close to 6,000 points and I'm expecting to get at least another 4,000 points. I'll give that another 70,000. At this point, we are at 200,000 points, Amex reward points, just on 2021. On the Chase ecosystem, I separate between the business cards and the personal cards, even though they're all really personal. I have 3,169 points on my Inc. Preferred. I have 51,000 520 points on my unlimited and on the ink cash I have 58,359 points. Now the 50s are both from sign-up bonuses so these are grandfathered uh, from last year. The total for the ink uh, trifecta is 113,000 points. On the personal side the personal trifecta I have the Sapphire Preferred and I have 10,693 points. The Freedom Unlimited, I have 6,166 points, but I also expect another 5,000 points uh, due to spending in 2021. On the Freedom, I have 23,000 points and I do expect at least another 3,000 points on spending in 2021 for a total of 47,000 859 points. On the Grand Hyatt I managed to get the full amount of uh, points, so the sign-up bonus, so 50,000 points and on Southwest Priority I get every year $75 credit. On my city American Airlines Advantage card I'm expecting $250 uh, credit and 40,000 points, that was for $2,000 spend and zero annual fee, so that's $850 value right there. Both on Amex and on Chase, I gave 1.5 uh, times boost because I'm expecting to use all that towards travel. So I'm expecting on Amex to get about $3,000 value, 
$2,413 on Chase, the 50,000 points on Hayat is really uh, twice that, so $1,000, and $850 on the City American Airlines. The total is 7,263. I have to subtract the annual fees I'm paying. That's 1,234. So in the end, I'm left with $6,029. Now, to be completely fair, many of these points were grandfathered from 2020. So for 2021, I'm expecting about four and a half thousand dollars again, third year in a row. I had an average of 4,500 uh, in 2020 and 2019, and I'm expecting the same for 2021. Even though my annual fees increased so much, the return I'm getting is higher this time. So yeah, $4,500. And this is all travel that I would do. I have at least one trip to uh, Latin America this year and one trip to Europe. And these are the ones I have scheduled already. I don't know what's going to happen in between. There's a good chance that I'm going to take a couple of trips to the Caribbean. So all these will come in very handy. I would love to hear what you guys uh, expect to make this year from your credit cards, what your setup is and uh, what's your favorite system. Is it City? Is it Chase or is it Amex? Uh, from the previous videos, if I have to judge based on views and comments, uh, most of you guys are really big Amex fans. Uh, so please let me know. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, add a comment if you have any questions. And until the next one, bye.